snake. Coiled like a snake at the base of the spine in every human being resides dormant the primordial energy of the universe. And when awakened, it rises up the spine, carrying its full power all the way up to the summit of our brains, rebirthing and resurrecting a power from within. Some refer to this as third eye opening or pineal gland activation. In ancient Indian spiritual traditions, it's known as kundalini, which can be translated as coiled one. In Gnostic Christianity, it is known as the process of raising the chrism, with chrism referring to the cerebrospinal fluid produced in the brain. In yogic terms, it's sometimes referred to as the spiritual spine. And for some, this knowledge has been hidden deep within their religious traditions, reserved only for the most elite. Behind the guise of historical record, there is a map of the consciousness of man that explains how to raise the awareness into the higher states of enlightenment. We are given clues along the way that we can use to decode and illuminate this path of awakening. The Bible itself is a manual full of these types of clues, and it's written in code for those willing to take the time to decipher it, albeit more than 90% are taught that it's a literal account of historical events. If you are willing to open your mind to the other possibilities and interpretations of this book, I will share some of those here. And regardless of what you believe to be truth, there will be interesting things along the way to think about. The mystery of the words, Christ is in you, is what this sacred secret reveals. The temple of God is your body, rather than a place that you visit. From the 1920 book titled, God, Man, The Word Made Flesh, by Dr. George W. Carey, who combined religion, astrology, anatomy, and chemistry in his works. He writes, Seed, word, and God are all synonyms of one and the same thing. The wonderful creative substance, the universal S, from which all things are brought forth, and in which all things are. The scriptures, or allegories and parables of the Bible, are the only writings that give us information as to what the word of God is. Therefore, in this book, we will quote what is written there in regards to it. Seed is the cause, the nucleus of everything. Therefore, a seed is the beginning. In the beginning was the word. That creative essence is within you. Christ is this creative essence within you. And as the ancients have documented, there is a resurrection and rebirth of that Christ that takes place within each person at the appointed time. From the chapter in the book God Man entitled The Antichrist, in which Dr. Carey is referring to the Roman Emperor Constantine and his manipulation of the Bible to hide the truth of man, he writes, Primitive Christians, the Essenes, fully realized and taught the great truth that Christ was a substance, an oil, or ointment, contained especially in the spinal cord, consequently in all parts of the body as every nerve in the body is directly or indirectly connected with the wonderful river that flows out of Eden, the upper brain, to water the garden. The early Christians knew that the scriptures, whether written in ancient Hebrew or the Greek, were allegories, parables, or fables based on the human body, fearfully and wonderfully made. These adepts knew that the secretion, gray matter creative, that issues, secretes, from the cerebrum, was the source and cause of the physical expression called man. And they knew that the river of Jordan was symbolized in the spinal cord and that the Dead Sea was used to symbolize the sacred plexus at the base of the spinal column where the Jordan spinal cord ends, typifying the entrance of Jordan into the Dead Sea. When the oil, ointment, is crucified, to crucify means to increase in power a thousandfold, not to kill, it remains two and a half days the moon's period in a sign, in the tomb, cerebellum, and on the third day ascends to the pineal gland that connects the cerebellum with the optic thalamus, the central eye in the throne of God that is the chamber overtopped by the hollow, hallowed, caused by the curve of the cerebrum, the most high of the body, which is the temple of the living God, the living, vital substance, which is a precipitation of the breath of life, breathed into man, therefore the holy, whole, ghost, or breath. The pineal gland is the pinnacle of the temple. In regards to the pineal gland, he states earlier in his book, the pineal gland is directly referred to in the Bible as Mount Peniel, where Jacob wrestled with the angel of the Lord. In Hebrew, the word means face of God. It is indeed the face of God, the top of this gland being the eye. Where can the eye be located save in the face? 
And in another section of this book, he talks about this activation when he states, the fluid, oil, or marrow which flows down the spinal cord comes from the upper brain, the creator or father, the most high, and is known in physiology as ovum, or generative seed, that life essence which creates the human form of corruptible flesh. In the Greek, from which the New Testament was translated, this marrow is called Christ, which is the Greek word for oil. When this oil is refined, transmuted, lifted up, raised, it becomes so highly vitalized that it regenerates the body and overcomes the last enemy, death. How can it be lifted up? By lifting up the Son of Man, the Seed, the Word, the Savior. The oil, Christ, in the spinal cord, is the salt which is mentioned in the Bible, and the Savior is the Seed, or Jesus. The salt and the Savior both come from the same source, the same place, the Father, the upper brain. In the Bible allegory, the seed, Jesus, is made to say, Without my Father I can do nothing. And from the chapter titled, Journey of Joseph and Mary, Dr. Carey gives us more clues when he states, On either side of the thalamus, in the head, is a gland known in physiology as the pineal on the posterior, and the pituitary on the anterior side of the thalamus. The pineal is cone-shaped and secretes a yellow or golden fluid. The pituitary body, opposite, is ellipsoid in shape and contains a whitish secretion like milk. The fluids that are found in both these bodies come from the same source, namely the claustrum, which means barrier or cloister, and is referred to as cloister for the very good reason that a precious and holy thing is secreted or secluded there. Saint Claus or Santa Claus is another term for this precious fluid, which is indeed a holy gift in the body of each one of us. The precious fluid which flows down from the claustrum separates, part going into the pineal gland and part to the pituitary body. And these, being special laboratories of the head, differentiate the fluid from the claustrum. And it takes on the colors above mentioned. And in the pineal gland becomes yellow and has electric properties. The pituitary body, having the milk-like fluid, has magnetic properties. These two glands are the male and female, the Joseph and Mary of the physical body and are the parents of the spiritual son born in the solar plexus of each human being, commencing about the age of 12. This yellow and white material, which is the milk and honey referred to in the Bible, the children of Israel having been given the promise of a return to this land flowing with milk and honey, at last reaches the solar plexus via semi-lunar ganglia, the Bethlehem of the physical body. In Hebrew, Bethlehem means house, Beth, of bread, Laham. I am the bread of life, said the allegorical Jesus. In the solar plexus is a thimble-shaped depression of a cave, or manger, and in this is deposited the psychophysical seed, or holy child, born of this immaculate conception. This psychophysical seed is also called fish, as it has the odor of fish and is formed in the midst of the waters, the pure water. Jesus is a fish in the midst of the waters, St. Augustine. Before birth, the human fetus floats like a fish in the fluids by which it is surrounded. And as it is with the child formed on the generative plane, so it is with the spiritual child born in the solar plexus, the Bethlehem. Joseph and Mary, by furnishing the material for the spiritual child, which was to redeem the child or body formed in generation, paid the symbolical redemption money. Holy Ghost, Greek for breath, the breath descending the pneumogastric nerve into the solar center enters the manger where Joseph and Mary are, and where is Jesus the seed literally, conceived by the Holy Ghost. The general idea of what is referred to as the sacred secretion is that the pituitary and pineal glands can generate different oils, golden melatonin, honey from the pituitary, and oxytocin and vasopressin, milk from the pineal. The oils meet in the crucible of the skull. In the Bible, it is referred to as Golgotha, which means skull in Hebrew, also Calvary from the Latin Calva, which also means skull. The cerebral spinal fluid is the oil of God. Christ, or Christos, which means oil of anointing, is produced in the claustrum in the midbrain. The word claustrum is derived from the Latin word cloister, which means enclosure or covered walk in a covenant. It comes down from heaven, with the word heaven being derived from the word hephon, which means both sky and the place where God dwells. It then travels down the spine with the cerebral spinal fluid. The fluid descends down to the solar plexus where it stays for 2.5 days, 
represented by Christ's burial in the tomb. After 2.5 days, if the mixture is not destroyed, it channels its way back up the spine into the brain, creating a resurrection experience. The 2.5 days are associated with the moon being in the sun sign of one's birth each month. And the Christ seed is often destroyed by what is referred to as sin before this process has the chance to take place, usually just by ignorance of the story itself. For example, inappropriate diet, overeating, semen ejaculation, and alcohol. With this theory, the entire story of the Bible is a story about the birth, death, resurrection, and rebirth of Christ, except it's a process that happens within the body, rather than an account of a historical person. When a person resurrects the Christ within, meaning the Christos oil has been raised to their cerebrum, then that person is transformed and transfigured. Now, I just want to say this, my people. This is one of the reasons why I say black people walk around and use their body 100% of the time and they know less than 1% about it. And it's very important to this species, not the, not the complex cell organism, it, their creator. It is important to them that they keep us away from anatomy. How could the complex organism even be able to put together, put, first of all, give names to our organs, internal organs, for one, two, know how they function and operate, three, um, be able to write books, stories, all your religious books, all of the your electronics, all of your everything that we use, your vehicles, your television, everything, your your religious books, everything is around your anatomy. More importantly, so-called black people anatomy. Everything is nothing as above, so below, as without, so within. Period. That's all it is. And once you start to understand and overstand anatomy fear starts to release from your body you start to look at yourself in a foolish manner to even hold on to fear that is something that weakens you it stops your connection to your frontal lobe which 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 freezes up your connection to your pituitary gland your pineal gland and your kundalini energy, which is your cerebral fluid, what is your your which is neuromelanin, which is you, which it, it freezes you from connecting in your sitting in your pineal gland and connecting to the entirety of the solar system. It freezes that. Fear does that. Fear, bad nutrition, uh uh the the, the soda, artificial foods, uh the, the drinking, the alcohol, the smoking. All of these things, not exercising, the arguing, the, the, the love for lust and not for creation is destroying your connection. And let me explain something to you. The complex cell organism also support their creator when it comes down to keeping us in the dark about genetics. It's about genetics, genetics, genetics. It's only one group of species that have a outright downright natural identification not just to this planet but the entirety of the solar system and it's the so called black woman in her creation period we have no animal DNA everyone else do abundance and gratitude to you all